Hey YouTube, I'm going to be doing a quick little review on the H&R Excel Auto Shotgun. And uh, I bought this gun a little over a year ago at Cabela's for about uh, 275 on sale. I think it's about 450 regular price. So I got a pretty good deal on it and uh, I've liked it a lot. I've used it for waterfall and turkey hunting. Uh, it takes a pretty good beating while uh, hunting waterfall, but um, it hasn't failed me yet, and uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to put out a review, because there's not many reviews out on it. And uh, to start off, I'm just going to tell you what I like and don't like about the gun. Uh, what I really like about it is it's a very light gun, and uh, it's synthetic, a synthetic stock that uh, holds up pretty well and uh, but what I don't like is not the receiver but uh, the barrel itself uh, gathers surface rust pretty quick and uh, it is a very light gun as I said that's probably because uh, the stock is hollow and uh, I did put electrical tape around the uh, butt pad because it wasn't really flush and it'd catch on my shirt or coat. But as soon as I did that, that resolved that issue. But uh, it cycles loads really well and it's, uh, it shoots on its mark. And uh, for waterfall hunting, I match it up with uh, this Kicks High Flyer. And uh, I had a little issue trying to figure out what threads it used because uh, it really didn't... Uh, give you much information about that but H&R is now owned by Remington so it, it takes uh if you buy the newer ones like this one it takes just the Remington threads and uh the bolt lock is actually right down here if you can see that uh just like the Berettas and uh this like the synthetic foregrip and the stock do hold up pretty well uh, the checkering is all right. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite, but I like it enough. It does its job. It's not really slippery. And uh, it is a good feeling gun to me, but each person's different. That's uh, really one thing I like about it a lot. And uh, the system, the gas, it is a gas operated system. And I already had this loose, so I'm just going to unscrew this to show you the gas system. Give me a second here. It's hard to do this one handed, so thanks for being patient. Alright. Uh, the gas system is right under here, underneath uh, the barrel. It is gas, so the, when the barrel comes off, really can't probably won't be able to see this but you can kind of see it there's two gas ports right there you have to make sure you keep clean not too much of an issue uh you don't have to i haven't had an issue with this gun jamming but uh this is the gas piston it can be flipped around as you can see it says i have it on light or the standard rounds and you just line up those lines with the arrow and have the arrow pointed out towards the end on which one you want and to flip it around you just pull this off and uh, if you notice this o-ring this o-ring is i find is the most important piece of this gas system and uh, i did forget this one day so i pretty much had a single shot but uh, i'd recommend right after that day i picked up a bunch of these i got like a six pack for four bucks off ebay and uh, just keep them on hand in case you break one, which I doubt would happen, but more in the case of losing it. And uh, this is the piston. It pretty much just wipes clean every time it gets a little bit of powder residue on it. But uh, it has a magnum setting or heavy, but uh, I always keep it on light or standard. 
and that just slides on there like that and you put the o-ring it's hard i'm not going to do that one-handed but uh to actually to put the the plug in i actually you have to like take this off and uh put it in the spring which was the instructions were pretty clear but i've had issues with it maybe it's just because i'm a little slow but uh I find I found it to be challenging and it took a little bit of time but not too bad and uh, for all for the I have friends that have uh, more hot like more expensive guns and this gun performs just as well as theirs so I find it to be a very high quality product it's just uh, just like with any Remington product these days uh, rust can gather on them pretty quickly but uh I was a little worried because uh haven't really heard too much about H&R products but uh, if you're looking into a semi-auto that's a little bit cheaper I would highly recommend this one and uh simple to put together simple to clean operate and uh it's a great product great price if you can find a sale for this gun, I'd highly recommend it. And this gun works really well. Uh, I don't know if they make this in a 20 gauge or not, but even though, even I shoot heavier three, three inch rounds, uh, the recoil, it handles it pretty well, even for being a light gun. That pretty much ends my review. If I missed anything, please just leave your questions in the comments and Thanks for watching.